title of this video is Irrational Numbers on a Number Line. The first question you're probably asking yourself is, what is an irrational number? An irrational number cannot be expressed as a simple fraction in the form of p over q, where p and q are integers. An irrational number can be expressed as a decimal that does not repeat and which goes on forever. One example of an irrational number that's pretty common is pi. We know that pi, we usually use 3.14, but we know that pi goes on forever in terms of decimal places. It doesn't repeat, but it does go on and on and on. We talk about a simple fraction in the form of p over q you can think of two-fourths. You can think of one-half. So 0.5, one-half, those are the same thing, right? Well, on an irrational, for an irrational number, you can't do that. So here's an irrational number, the square root of five. Where is that located on a number line? And how would we figure it out? Well, the first thing we do is we can make a table of perfect squares that we know. The square root of four, we know, is two. We know that the square root of nine is three. So what does that tell us? It tells us that the square root of five is located somewhere between two and three on the number line. Well, but could we be more accurate than that? Is it between two and three, meaning halfway between? Where exactly is it between two and three? Again, we're gonna continue with making this perfect squares table. So now we can say, well, what is 2.5 or two and a half times 2.5? It would be the square root of 6.25. So now what does that tell us? Is the square root of five less than 2.5 or more than 2.5? Well, look at the numbers underneath the square root symbol. 6.25 and in square root 5 we have the number 5. Well, 5 is less than 6.25. So now what we know is that the square root of 5 is located to the left of 2.5 on a number line because it's less, it's going to be less than 2.5. So now that we know it's less than 2.5, could we be even more accurate? Sure we can. We'll make a table, and this time we'll say 2.5, we're gonna bring that down a quarter. So now we're gonna say 2.25 times 2.25. That would be the square root of 5.0625. We're getting pretty darn close. Again, look at the numbers underneath the square root symbol and compare them. Is 5 greater than or less than 5.0625? Well, 5 is actually less than that. So now we know that the square root of 5 is going to fall between 2 and 2.25. So it's less than 2.25. The square root of 5 is an irrational number. Let's take a look at the first 60 decimal places of the square root of 5. So as you can see, we could keep getting closer and closer and closer to its exact location on the number line, but we'd really probably never get to its exact location because those decimal places are going to go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Well, that ends this very brief video on irrational numbers on the number line. Now let's do some practice. Enjoy the activity.